Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another video and in today's video I'm going to be starting off with a question to you guys. Have you ever been to the beach and seen something like this? Well if you haven't it's actually a lot more common than you think. Now your initial thoughts may be why are there so many dead crabs here? How has this happened? And in today's video I'm going to be telling you why those aren't actually dead crabs. Now crabs, as well as a few other animal species, don't have skin or an internal skeleton like us as humans or any other mammals, they are equipped with an exoskeleton. Now an exoskeleton is an external skeleton that is on the outside of an organism's body and these are typically hard and tough which provides great protection for animals including these crabs. This can of course benefit the crab, for example, by enhancing the leverage of muscle movement, but um, it does have one big disadvantage. And the main big disadvantage is that it restricts the growth for an animal. It is literally impossible for an exoskeleton to grow. So periodically, crabs have to shed their old exoskeletons in place of new ones. I actually have a couple of uh, crab molts that I have in my collection. I've just got them here. The first one is an edible crab. So as you can see, pretty much everything you see here is identical to what the live crab would be like. And I've also got a mass crab. As you can see, it's all complete, looks identical to either a live crab or a dead crab. So this is where my point from the intro comes back into play. A crab's old discarded exoskeleton washing up on a beach looks exactly the same as a dead crab. Nine times out of 10, it will simply be a crab molt rather than a dead crab. Dead crabs will typically be preyed upon by seabirds and other animals inhabiting the rocky shore environment. So as you can see on your screen right now, you can see a time lapse of a shore crab molting. And as you can see, it's sped up a bit because it's quite a long process. And as you can see, the crab is trying to push out from the back, leaving the old exoskeleton behind and coming out in a brand new one and being slightly bigger. Now, after they do this, the new exoskeleton hasn't fully hardened yet. So the crab becomes very soft. And it is at this point the crab becomes very stressed. It doesn't want to move around a lot. It doesn't really want to feed. So if you do find a soft crab while out on the shore, it is probably best to just leave it alone. It is under a lot of stress to um, get the exoskeleton to harden again so it can resume its uh, life cycle. But for that period, it's very like restrictive in its movements it doesn't really want to move around a lot it doesn't really want to feed it doesn't want to mate it doesn't want to do anything really so yeah just best to leave them be so the next part of this video will just be a few clips from me wandering around the shore finding loads of different crab um exoskeletons uh previously discarded molts and uh, i'll probably throw in like a few facts here and there so yeah hope you enjoy it the best way to tell if it's actually a crab molt is by taking a look underneath the shell. As you can see in this clip, the only thing that remains is the pair of gills. Many crab species will roughly molt between 10 and 20 times in their life cycle. Crabs have also been known to eat their old exoskeleton after molting. Here is a crab and its previously discarded molt. The live crab shell was hard, however, meaning that the molting process had finished. You can clearly see how much more the crab has grown compared to the old exoskeleton.
And lobsters are one of the many species that also shed their exoskeletons, so this is why you may find bits of pieces of old discarded lobster shell on the beach. So I do hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different to my normal style of videos, but I wanted to try it out, see how you guys respond to it. So if you do enjoy, please leave a like down below. And if you are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed to catch up with all of my recent videos and comment down below. What's your favorite species of crab? I would like to know. I'd like to see what you guys are saying. So uh, yeah. We're almost at 300 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Thank you all so much for the support on the videos. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I do highly recommend it as you'll be able to see more videos like this in the future. So that's all for today. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.